this is my 10 things I would never do tag that somebody tagged me and that would tag or do so I'm going to do it <coughs> I'd like to say I really need to get a tripod one day because I'm literally balancing my phone because this is my phone not my camera like against a mirror no way against a picture frame with like a vibrating frog thing shoved down the back of it to make it stand up so you can see me hello so yeah if you see Edward he's plastered in chocolate he's just an ice cream he's also kind of pretending to play dead on the floor for some really random reason so like uh, I said my I just, I just hide see this little vlog is about mummy I know you're hiding down there but I really asked you and wished that you wouldn't come in this room when I was doing this because huh? then everybody was going to say, oh, oh, do this. how Look cute are you? Anyway, shh, because mummy's doing this. Now I literally mean shh, right? Shh. Now, now sit down on the floor or play with whatever you got down there because you've got those down there and let mummy do this. So a minute of this is just basically, yeah. Anyway, ten things I would never do. One, get in a fight because... There was only, right, there would only be a couple of circumstances that I would get in a fight. Because um, it takes a lot for me to get that angry that I would get in a fight. Like, fair play when I was younger, I've had my fair scuffs, like, quite a few. Like, a broken nose and stuff, but now I wouldn't. Uh, the only reasons why I would get in a fight is if anybody had hurt Ed, then I'd kick some shit into them. Because it quite hurt. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, no. No, I wouldn't get in a fight, really. Somebody would literally have to be like right up in my face and I don't know, swing for me first and then unfortunately they'd be flat on the floor. <laughs> like, not in a bad way, but I just don't like people in my space. And I've been lucky, like I've never the only people I've been in a fight with obviously like my mum, my dad, my sister. I've never been in a punch up with anybody else. But I go ninja on their ass like Whoa! Yeah. So, but I wouldn't personally get in a fight. I'm not one of these people that like get drunk and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking up you up. Oh, I swore then. Sorry. He's there too. Anyway, um, number two, have an affair. Why would you have an affair? I don't know. But personally, I would think to myself that I wouldn't really want to get married if I don't think that it's gonna last. Like, I'm only 22, so marriage for me is way down the far that way like past the m5 going straight towards wherever the m5 leaves off like right I, I don't even know where the m5 is so somewhere that way uh, but i would think that once i got married that would be it and that if anything ever had happened i would do everything in my power to not get a divorce like i don't want to have a divorce and or anything like that so personally me seeing myself having an affair would never happen so i don't I don't understand why people do it. I mean, if you don't want to be with somebody, break up with them before you cheat on them. Or just break up with them and don't get back with them and go and boink boink somebody else. So, no no for the affairs. Uh, number three, not work. Unless, obviously, I got put out of work, I would not work. I mean, I worked, I'm working now. I don't do a great deal of hours. I do 17 hours a week. I live okay, because I get working tax credits, so I'm living okay, right? Um, even after I had Edward, I did four hours a week, which isn't a lot, but I still carried on working and at least I did something for myself. Um, so obviously unless I got put out of work, um, yeah, unless I got put out of work, he has to pick the most noisiest thing to play with. I wouldn't personally leave work, just be like, fuck, I don't want to work anymore, I'm just not work. Uh, number four choose any man over my child I will never pick a bloke over my child my child is my child I choose to have that child and I would never put my son in a situation where I'd have to pick between him or a boyfriend why would you do that I don't know so I would never do that um, I think we're on number five number five why the hell would you go on the Jeremy Kyle show? That is, and if you don't know what the Jeremy Kyle show is, type in YouTube the Jeremy Kyle show. It's like a show in the UK. I know you have it in America now. But what? How would you go on the Jeremy Kyle show and embarrass yourself to like 
the world or to Britain because I mean we get the, the Jeremy Kyle show USA over here so I don't know whether you get the Jeremy Kyle show over here over there but I mean it's just full of like teethless chads and people that have shagged like 17 people and do not know who their baby's dad is why would you go on there I get it is good like if you want to do a DNA test and they won't do the DNA test it's fine but my god, when you're like, I slept with 17 people, I don't know who the baby's dad is. Like, why would you do that to yourself? That like, is so embarrassing. I mean, you look like an absolute pillock. Um, <laughs> loved myself. I mean, I've seen some right funny ones. I don't watch it all the time because that's just odd. Why would you watch it if you don't support it? But I mean, when you're like ill or it's the only thing on TV in the morning and you click on it and you're like, what? Like today, I watched today's show. I did. I actually watched it because he decided he didn't need to go preschool because he was poorly today. So I was like, right, just put Jeremy Carl show on because I didn't have anything else to do. And there was a woman and she was like, I want to get my man back. And it was something to do with, she said she, he was, she was like six weeks pregnant, but she refused to do a pregnancy test and he refused to do a lie detector test. And it turns out he dumped her, so he ain't that bothered about it. He just wants to know whether she's pregnant, but blah, 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 blah. I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? That is the most stupidest thing ever. It's so embarrassing. I mean, I've seen people from where I live on it. And I'm like, I see you on the Jeremy Carl show. In fact, three of them I went to school with. Pretty sure it was about three of them anyway. Maybe more. Um, uh, number six, take out a loan. I have the banker daddy. I don't need to take out a loan. Unless it was like a huge amount of money. Obviously, like a mortgage is different, but the bank of daddy's good. <laughs> and I always pay him back, so. Um, number seven. Uh, number seven, I won't get paralytic. Now, I've been really, really, really drunk. Like, back in the ye yeah, old days before I had that. And I've been a pretty drunk since I've had him, like on a night out, but I've never been that drunk that I don't remember what's happened to me. I don't understand how these people are like, I woke up, and I think I'm gonna slept with somebody, but I can't remember because... And there's girls at work and they're like, well not yet, there's a girl at work. And she's like, I don't remember nothing about last night. That's actually what her laugh is like. And she come in and she had like scratches all over her face. And I was like, what the fuck did you do? She's a hard out remember. And I'm pretty sure she told somebody that she got in a fight and then somebody kicked her in her face. And I was like, what? My personal thing said, I bet she was taking up the ass and I was like scratching her face against the floor. It turns out that her and her friend were being silly and her friend banged her head against the table. How did you get from... I think I got beaten up and got my purse kicked in to her friend just banging her head against the table. I don't know. That's why I won't get paralytic and that drunk because that just sounds stupid. And who likes puking? I mean, don't diss it. I mean, you go uptown, you get pretty drunk, you come home at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, you walk past a kebab, you eat the kebab because kebabs are good when you are drunk. They are. They're minging all the other time, but when you're drunk, that kebab and that shop that is open till 4 o'clock in the morning, you walk past it and they're in there with their Turkish accents, like, do you want a kebab? You walk in there like, mm, I'll take that kebab. And if you're really good and live where I live, they give you free lollipops if you flat. I always get a free lollipop. <coughs> yeah. See <laughs> um, Number eight, let anybody make me do anything I don't want to do. Now, I have been in a life where I have been pushed about an awful lot. Quite a lot. Um, and people just genuinely, like, take hugely advantage of me. There's been a lot of men that have done that, and a lot of friends that have done that to me, and have taken advantage of me just being genuinely lonely. Um, and now with my new lovely boyfriend, which is nowhere in sight because he's at work. Let's play some music. He's invisible. <laughs> And I bet he's watching this probably laughing at me while he's at work, which he should be working, not watching my YouTube. <laughs> um, I don't want, if I don't want to do it, I ain't going to do it. So, that's that. Uh, number nine, let someone bring down my confidence. I'm getting pretty confident now. 
I don't know what's wrong with me this last couple of days. I've been hyper as sin. Um, yeah, I'm getting quite confident. And I am super smiley all the time because my invisible boyfriend that is like not sitting here because he's just super nice to me and I don't have that very often. Oh, so like, I'm just always happy and I'm super confident and I'm like applying for new jobs because I'm like frog I'm like I want a new job I applied for like supervisor at my work I doubt I'll get it but I applied I've been there almost seven years and I sat there each time the supervisory position comes up and I'm like no but to this time I was there with a bit of scrap paper going I wish to apply for supervisor blah 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 and I walked into that office gave my manager that letter and he was like well done I was like I am like the longest reigning weekend staff that has been at Primark for a bloody while. I don't know how long some of these other people have been there, but a lot of them only been there like a year, two years. I've been there almost seven. That is loyalty to my job. Yeah. <laughs> Number ten, change me for me. Change me for anybody. I am not changing this. I am weird, I know, but I enjoy my weirdness. It just kind of takes the awkwardness out of everybody else's just bread. And unfortunately, he has picked up this weirdness that I have got. Um, <laughs> I like being weird. There's nothing wrong with being a bit weird. It's just a bit of fun. I mean I can be dead serious and I can be dead polite and I can dead not talk like a summer sir. but it's fun talking like this, going to watch the Wurzels, which I'm pretty sure I've missed and I was gutted because I wanted to watch them at Junction 24, but my dad was like, I'm going camping. I was like, well who else am I going to go and dress up like a farmer, wear my wallet and boots and my little thing and jump round to like cider drinker in King where be that blackbird too I don't know what that song's called who's gonna be weird like me no one my dad's a little bit strange too so is my mum my sister's just blonde anyway so there are my ten things written on some stickers, the back of a sticker piece of paper, because they were on my phone, and then I was like, meh. So they are my ten things I would never do. This video is super long, I'm really sorry, and if you watched it, well done, because you watched the whole video of me being a freak. So, thank you. Like and subscribe, because God only knows I need more subscribers, and if you know of any videos or any tags that you people want me to do, tag the bitches in underneath this and the commenty thing, and I shall do them because yeah. I have enjoyed this. Tell them to do it. Say do it. Do it. Mm. Mm. Say peace out, home dogs. Peace out, home dogs. That's from the three-year-old. Bye, guys.